Hey guys, Jed here. Welcome to another video. In this video, you will learn how to translate and reflect graphs. Okay, we have a function, y is equal to f of x. We also have the graph of this function on the right here with two given coordinates. I'm going to show you how these coordinates change as we change the equation of the function to the left here. Let's introduce our first translation. I'm going to add one to the entire function and that looks like this. And this is how it changes the graph. Look at the coordinates. We have essentially added one to the y values. This coordinate zero, zero now becomes zero and one. The y value has changed by plus one. And this coordinate here, one and one, the y value has changed by plus one to become two. However, the x values have remained unchanged. So we can conclude that adding or subtracting to the outside of the function moves the entire graph up or down. Adding moves the graph up, subtracting moves the graph down. Okay, for our second translation, I'm going to add one to the inside of the function, and that looks like this. When I say inside of the function, I mean inside of the brackets here, and this will affect all of the x values for the graph, causing it to look like this. Look at the coordinates. This coordinate here, that was one and one, has now become zero and one. So the x value has actually gone down by one. And this coordinate here, zero and zero, again, the x value has gone down by one. The graph has moved in the opposite direction to what we would expect. So we can conclude from this that translations to the inside of the function, so inside this bracket, work in the opposite way. Okay, time for our first reflection. I'm going to make the outside of the function, so outside of the brackets, negative. And that looks like this. This now changes the graph to look like this. If we look at the coordinates, the y values that were positive are now negative. However, this zero remains the same, as a zero doesn't really have a positive or a negative sign. We can conclude that applying a negative to the outside of the function will reflect the graph across the x-axis. For our second reflection, I'm going to make the inside of the function, so inside of the bracket, negative. And this is what it looks like. Doing this changes the graph to look like the following. If we look at the coordinates, the x values that were positive are now negative. So this one here now becomes a negative one. We can conclude that applying a negative to the inside of the function, so the inside of the bracket, which is also the same as applying a negative to all of the x values, will reflect the graph in the y-axis. Because this quadratic graph is symmetrical, the reflection looks the same as the original graph. Think about it. Look at the original again. If I reflect or flip it around the y-axis, it would still look the same. Okay, now let's use all of this knowledge and understanding to answer some typical questions that you may get. In this question, they tell us the function y equals f of x is shown here. This is an exponential function. They ask us to sketch the following, y is equal to f of x plus 1. So this is on the outside of the brackets. Therefore, it should translate the entire graph up by 1. So this point here will no longer be 0 and 1. It should be 0 and 2. Also, this part of the graph, which seems to be leveling off on the x-axis, but never actually touching it, should also move up by 1. So therefore, the leveling off should be taking place here. Sketching this graph looks like this. As you can see from the previous explanations, the graph changes in the way that we'd expect. Okay, now for this question, the exact same function as before and the graph, but now we are being asked to sketch the following. There is a negative on the inside of the bracket, so therefore all of my x values that were positive will now be negative, and all of my negative x values will now be positive. So we are going to be flipping this graph or reflecting this graph across the y-axis. So sketching this graph gives us the following. As you can see, the graph has been reflected in the y-axis. Our intersection point, however, remains the same. And for this example, we have the function y equals sine of x, and we are asked to sketch the following, y equals sine of x plus 2. Since this plus 2 is on the outside of the function, this entire graph is going to translate upwards by 2, and it should look like this. 
As you can see, every Y coordinate of the graph has moved up by two, while the X coordinates have remained the same. Guys, I hope you've learned how to translate and reflect graphs by watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching and take care.